Dear colleagues, this is a mature non intumescent cataract. In this case, Rexis ran out. Even then, I tried fecal emulsification and I was able to do the case. Let us watch the surgical steps. The main incision has been made. This is a side port on the right side of the main incision. And now, this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. And now, I want to stain the capsule with tripan blue dye. Inject air bubble. Beneath the air bubble, I inject tripan blue dye. This is 0.06% tripan blue. And now, the dye is washed out. This is little bit of adrenaline to see if the people dilates little more. The people has dilated but not fully in this case and we see that after application of adrenaline the people has dilated little more. Now viscoelastic substance is injected into the antechamber. The cataract doesn't appear intumescent. And I was sure that I will be able to do the rexis at on go. See so what happens after first cut. Cut the capsule and nothing comes out. No turbid fluid, no oily fluid, nothing comes out. And there is no intumescence. But there was mild convexity of the anterior surface of the capsule and here see what happens at around in the sub incisional area here just in front of the main incision the rexis has gone to the periphery I pulled it towards the center but it didn't come and since I can't see the rexis margin I know I should not pull it vigorously. Viscoelastic substance is injected. I have asked for an instrument which will retract the iris. Y shaped instrument which will retract the iris and here I could see, though it is not in this field, I could see that it has gone too peripherally and it is not possible to retrieve it. So I ask for one scissor and I cut the rexis, cut the capsule like this. And now what to do? Should I convert to CC or should I attempt fake emulsification? Since I do direct chop, I usually attempt fake emulsification in such cases. You can see that the nucleus is rotating and so I have planned to hold the nucleus and without causing any pressure over the posterior capsule and over the jonule, I want to chop this nucleus into fragments and then emulsify the fragments one by one. Here it is. I have decreased the bottle height a little bit and flow rate and vacuum has been reduced. But vacuum is sufficient to hold the capsule and chop it. You can see that the people is becoming small but manageable. You can manage the case. This free nuclear fragment is emulsified and removed. But I could not remove it completely.
rotate the nucleus chop it here again and this fragment also partially removed since the cataract is not hard the nucleus is brittle I am hoping that there will be no problem posterior capsule will remain intact I'm keeping an eye on the posterior capsule I, I can see that there is no rent till now though the heartbeat increases in such cases yes the case has been done and the posterior capsule is intact <coughs> And now, viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber. A Simco cannula is being used to remove the cortical matter. I don't want to pull the cortex vigorously, and it was not needed. It is coming very easily. This is it. The cortex is appears to be clean, appears to be removed. But I have to check. Viscoelastic substance is injected. And I take the oil shaped instrument again to see if there is any cortex anywhere. And here I can see some cortex at around 10 o'clock. So I take the Simco again and make an attempt to remove the cortex which is there at 10 o'clock this patient had astigmatism at Thirty degree, so have increased the side port on the left side. And the cortex has been removed. Now viscoelastic substance is injected and a foldable intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. The leading haptic has gone into the bag. I am introducing a Sinsky hook through the side port at 8 o'clock and placing the trailing haptic into the capsular bag. Now I remove the viscoelastic substance thoroughly. That's it. After thorough removal of viscoelastic substance and hydrating the side ports, the antechamber is formed and the case is concluded. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.